One ten. Ten fouls locked. One minute. Rock report range status. Range is green. Table at step three. Forty seconds. Twenty-eight. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Alice. Go Centaur. Go LDCM. T minus fifteen seconds. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Have ignition and lift off of the Atlas V rocket on the Landsat Data Continuity Mission, continuing the 40-year legacy of deserving Earth's natural resources from space. LDCM is now supersonic. Coming up on max Q. And we've now passed through the region of max dynamic pressure. And the engine is throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Everything is looking good. vehicle is now 13 miles in altitude, 6 miles downrange, traveling at 1,700 miles per hour. And still operating normally at 95% thrust. Everything looking good. And we vented the center fuel tank for, to condition the propellants for center phase. Booster continues to operate normally. Good steady state thrust. Next event we're looking for is firing the pyro valve to activate the Centaur reaction control system. And we fired that valve. Loop pressure coming up, everything looking good. And engines operating normally. Vehicles accelerating smoothly. 3.3 G's. Everything looking good. Being very small disturbances in the flight control system. Being a very smooth ride. Continuing at 95% thrust. Very little control activity on Atlas PU. And the vehicle is now 25% of liftoff weight. And we've now started a constant 5G acceleration phase. And we fire the pogo bleed valve. 
Yeah, you start a boost phase chill. Everything's reacting. We're now at 4.6 G limiting. You use open loop. Coming up on booster engine cutoff. We have Beco. We have staging. Ignition. Full thrust. Everything is looking good. Good steady state operating levels on center. Coming up on fairing set. And we have fairing separation. Two good brake wires. And we've re enabled guidance. The vehicle is now steering. Thing look start transient. Very good start transient. And we've gone to our Z profile valve angle on Centaur PU. We're down to the lock stop. Everything is looking good. We've seen the reacting control systems firing to purge the GN2 out, as well as thermal conditioning firings for the loop. And I think very good steady state operating levels for the Centaur main engine. Vehicle's flying very smooth. We're now 137 miles in altitude, 428 miles downrange, traveling at 10,400 miles per hour. Everything is looking good. And we're going to close loop control and center PU, continuing to make a locks correction as expected. Parallel 10 continues to operate normally. Coming up on our telemetry format change. You're going to see very good telemetry data. And center of PU is now beginning to control. Valve has come off to the lock stop. And we've had the telemetry format change. Very small dropout. Centaur continues to operate normally. We're continuing to see the pre-planned firings of the reaction control system to condition the loop and thrusters, as well as very little roll control being required. Everything looks good. And we have made the roll to Tedris. And we have a preliminary look at booster stage performance. We are plus 71 pounds of PE, but uh, represents a 0.71 sigma case. Very good performance from the booster. Arrow tank continues to operate normally. PU is now controlling near nominal mixture ratio. Engine operating parameters look good. Continue to control as expected. See the engine responding to the changes in mixture ratio. And our reaction control system temperatures have reached a steady state with bottle temperature. Vehicles uh, continue to accelerate very smoothly. Very little dynamic response from the flight control system. PU is nominal. We're now 197 miles in altitude, 970 miles downrange, traveling at 11,800 miles per hour. And a 
quick look at our trajectory performance. We are applying right down our predicted trajectory. Everything's looking good. And we have safe the FTS system. And vehicle's now maneuvering for RAND steering as expected. Getting the appropriate response and body rates. Then our main engine is operating normally. And we are in the process of executing a little over 11 minute first burn or everything is normal on the mission. We use controlling right and our nominal MR. And vehicle rates have stabilized out, continuing to accelerate smoothly. Two hundred miles in altitude, twelve hundred eighty three miles downrange, traveling at twelve thousand eight hundred miles per hour. and everything continues to operate normally. We are now 194 miles in altitude, 1,480 miles downrange, traveling at 13,500 miles per hour. Tim, you see good Centaur operating parameters. And PU is controlling nicely. Getting our periodic firings in the reaction control system as expected. Throw an inlet temp, right where we expect it to be. Everything is nominal. Now 12 minutes into the mission, everything looking good. 185 miles in altitude. 1,680 miles downrange, traveling at 14,200 miles per hour. Engines operating normally. Everything looking good. And PU control has been very stable near nominal mixture ratio. Very good engine operating parameters. Hydrazine system performance has been excellent thus far. We continue to receive very good telemetry data. We're now two minutes from a nominal MECO. Engine continues to operate normally. Quick look at other vehicle parameters, tank, propellant tank, and 